Hello, Pio Nation. I hope you are doing well today. If you are still watching from our Smash Match earlier, welcome back. But for those of you that are new, my name is Matt Williamson. And I am Corey McFan. And you are watching Married to College Esports. So we are now going to have our Rocket League match uh, against Ohio Northern. They're going to get things up very soon. Uh, last week, we were not able to stream the Rocket League match against Trine, but we are going to be able to this time. They had some technical difficulties last week. That's a, It happens. That's all right. But now we're going to be able to stream. We might be able to do two matches, depending on how long the matches go. So uh, I think we're going to be very excited to be able to showcase our Rocket League team again. But, all right. So speaking of our Rocket League team, let's talk about who is going to be playing. Because we've picked up uh, a couple of players on the, our roster. So... Today, of course, we'll have our captain, uh, senior Austin Offenberger, Ozio. But we also have a couple of new uh, players on the team. We will also have uh, freshman Alec Ellis. Apollyon, Ted? Apollyon, I think that's how you pronounce it. I didn't check with him before, but he's playing. And then we also have uh, freshman Tyler Landham, uh, Tyler M25, uh, starting for our team. Of course, we still have Justin and Sergey, but they come in if we need him. And then we do have several coaches here to help support our Rocket League team. Of course, we have our head coach, Derek Games. We still have Jeff Thomas King Beef. But we're also going to introduce Kevin Johnson. Uh, hey, Kimi, who's one of our other assistant Rocket League coaches. And Takumi, another Rocket League coach. So they are working with our, our Rocket League team. So we were joking at one point. I think we had more coaches than Rocket League players. <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, we're just thankful that we have so many people who are reaching out to say, hey, we want to help your team succeed. So we are so thankful for all of our coaches uh, for their support. A lot of coaches for Rocket League. I wish Overwatch had one. We're working on it. <laughs> all right. So let's go over a couple of announcements uh, while we're getting things set up for our match with Ohio Northern. So shout outs to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor for Barry to College Esports. Uh, they've equipped, helped equip our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, microphones. We're using their headsets and microphones in our broadcasting room right now. They're amazing. They're comfortable. The sound quality is great. If you would like to check out your own HyperX gear, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash ES. The QR code is up on your screen. Screenshot that. Go check it out. They have some great deals going on uh, right now. I also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza uh, for their support. Uh, every Tuesday, they will do a Marietta College night. So uh, students can go by on their restaurant in Front Street, Marietta, and they can get a discount on pizza and drinks, and they have all sorts of entertainment. They usually have like a Switch setup where you can play Super Smash or Mario Kart, and they'll air the, the matches that we're streaming for that day. So go check them out. Even if you're not available on a Tuesday, go check them out on any other day anyway. So we want to thank Over the Boom Pizza for their support there. And then, as we mentioned earlier, we do have our team store courtesy of BSN Sports finally up. Uh, it's been up for a week now, and it'll be up for a little bit more. So we got about till February 9th to place your order. But we have shirts, shorts, backpacks, jackets, hoodies. And you can get your very own Marietta College Esports jersey. You cannot get this anywhere else. You can even set up where you can choose whatever name you want on the back of the jersey. So if you want to get any of that swag, please be sure to go to the link below, bsnteamsports.com slash slash tpzvcckgekey. The QR code for that uh, is on your screen. So once again, screenshot it. We do have this up on our social media channels. So... Um, on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. So we have the links for that there as well. So take some time to go check out the store. A portion of each sale does, not just each sale, the portion of each item that is sold goes back to the esports program. So this is a mutually beneficial thing. You can get some really cool stuff, but then we also get a little bit of, of funds for that to, to help support our program. It is definitely worth it. <laughs> yes. I, and considering the, the cost of shirts and pants and so forth, I think these prices are very reasonable. Uh, for what they have to offer, especially the quality of the material. But all right, so we're still waiting for uh, the game to start. So while we're waiting, we will go over a couple of other announcements. Uh, so let's do let's do that one. So we are always looking for more students for our program, and one of the perks about our uh, program is we're able to offer scholarships to be a part 
of our esports program. Now that's only available to high school seniors and college transfers. As much as I would love to be able to offer the um, the scholarships to our current students, we're not at the capability of doing that at this time. But we do have tryouts every month, sometimes twice a month, like this month. So we will have in-person tryouts on February 11th. So if you are coming to the uh, winter open house that's being run by our admissions department, while you're here, we can set up an in-person tryout. And then on February 18th, we'll be doing online tryouts through our Discord server. So if you're a high school uh, senior or a college transfer, it's a three-step process. So first you would fill out our recruitment inquiry form at bit.ly slash MC recruits. And then you would uh, schedule the trial. It's a separate form. The first form is more for admissions records. The second form is where you would try out for, schedule the tryout. So you go to bit.ly slash MC eSport tryouts and you can say, I'm going to be here on February 11th. I want to do it on the 11th or I want to do it online on the 18th. And you can do that. If you're not available on either day, we do have tryouts in March and April as well. Uh, but then the last thing would be to join our Discord server, bit.ly slash Discord. And the QR codes for all three of those links are up on your screen right now. So you can take a screenshot of it, pull up your camera uh, on your phone, and go ahead and scan those QR codes so you can fill out the information. But uh, we would love to talk to you if you're interested in learning more about our esports program. And we would love to offer a scholarship if you decide to come to Marietta College uh, to be a part of our program. Let's be real, who would want a scholarship to play video games? I know! Like, where was this when I was a student? I don't know. But, okay, so it's looking like that we are getting things uh, started up here. We're uh, in the lobby. It looks like Marion is going to be on the blue side and Ohio Northern is going to be on the orange side. So we're going to go ahead and get that set up. So here we go. Right. I'll be right back for second quarter takeover. Okay, okay. <laughs> Does look like Marietta is going, going to be going up, taking it up the field towards <laughs> their net. Very close from very close call all from Marietta right there. So close to just one mistake is all it takes, and Marietta would have taken uh, lost a point there. It does look like it's going to be going up for Marietta, but they were just there in time to save that at opportunity. Alright, yeah, we're seeing Ohio Northern trying to go for goal, and the goal was exposed, so Ohio Northern uh, will be able to take the first uh, goal in this best uh, first game here. But it is still a best of five, and it's still only one goal. Three minutes, 53 seconds left. A lot can happen in this match. Very small misplay from Marietta. It did cost them a, go a goal, but... A comeback is always possible. Oh yeah, I have seen so many times in this game where like one team will make a goal and then just a couple seconds later the other team is able to make a goal. Like Marietta's going for the shot and we see uh, SDN going for the save. So Marietta's trying to play more aggressive but actually maybe falling back a little bit. Paulin tried to go for the play but SDN is going to try to center up the ball but Azu is there to knock it away. But we see Coffin over there to bounce it back. Ty Lanham tries to go for the, the hit, but gets bumped. Ball's going straight for Ohio Norton's goal, but Drump is there for the save, unfortunately, for the Pioneers. Very close call right there, but they were just there in time to save it. Paul is trying to set up the play, but just not able to follow through with it. Gets tipped. To... Wait, but Ty Lanham is trying to set up. Ozio goes for the goal, and it's going to that back corner, but SDN is there with the save. Lots of demolitions going on left and right. Oz is trying to center up. Uh, Tylen's going for the shot, but doesn't quite connect. Drop gets blown up. This is turning into a demolition derby. <laughs> demolitions left and right. So I would say Hindor is trying to take the ball. Dorns towards Marion's side, but they are bumping away. STN goes for the shot, but Tylen is there for the block. 
little bit of a dangerous position for Marietta right here. But will they be able to defend? <laughs> that is they're the question. They're trying. I mean, we're seeing how Iowa Northern is trying to get the ball centered up. But Marietta is keeping things under control. A lot of bumping left and right to cause disruption. You see, now the ball's going to be on the high, uh, northern side. And the ball's getting tipped in the air. STN is going to knock it towards Marietta's side of the field. Paul and J uh, Drop were fighting for it. Now it's going to pass to STN, but passes to Coffin. So we got about a minute 45, and it just goes right over Marietta's head, and Coffin does get the score. That is a very tough angle to hit a shot on. Very unexpected, and Marietta just didn't seem <laughs> to have the reaction time to you know, it, get the same. It was just time. a little too late. If Napoleon was able to jump a little bit sooner, I think it would have been okay, but yeah, that was just a hard one to block. So now Ohio Norton is up 2-0. So got about a minute 35 left. So there's still a lot of Rocket League for this game. But we're seeing Ohio Northern still trying to put a lot of pressure onto the Pioneers. Often will pass the J uh, drop. Might be pronounced J-Rub. I uh, apologize if I'm not pronouncing these names correctly. Coffin tries to go for the shot, but it goes a little bit wide. J-Rub is gonna bounce it back and Tyra's gonna go for the score, but it just Ozio loses control of the ball, not able to follow up for the score. Very good contest from Ozio right there. Okay, we now got about a minute left, and Marietta's still down by two, so they're going to have to make a couple of quick scores. Otherwise, game one will go to Ohio Northern. I have seen amazing things happen in this game. Be in overtime, and you still take the win. Anything can happen, but the clock is not on Marietta's side. They need two goals to get into overtime, so that means they're going to have to get one goal very soon. With 30 seconds left, Marietta's got to make a play now, but Ohio Northern is trying to do everything they can to keep the ball away from Marietta. And that's usually a common strat at this point. See, Apollyon gets demoed, and that almost went in. Great save there by Ozio. Goes over to STN. Island tries to go for the shot, but doesn't quite connect. And with that, game one uh, will go to Ohio Northern, two to zero. Now it did. It did seem like uh, Marietta did get clumped up a little bit there, and they they weren't always like on the same page. Like, there were a lot of times where, like, all three of them were, like, right under the ball. And... Yeah, I think we saw a, a good amount of, like, double commits or triple commits. And I think part of it is this is a bit of a newer roster. I mean, we weren't even so sure if we were going to be able to support Rocket League uh, a couple of weeks ago. And we were able to find the, the people that we needed. And we're already in the next game. They're just moving on with they're just They're just ready to go here, but... But yeah, just kind of talk about what we were saying. This is a relatively new roster. Now, Ozio is the veteran of the team. He's been with the Rocket League team for several years now. But they're still not having played a whole lot together. So as they play more together, they'll get used to each other's play styles. But until then, I think we are going to see some of that miscommunication and those struggles to coordinate. So we see Mary does knock the ball towards Ohio Northern side. And J-Rup is going to be flying the air, trying to go for the shot, but gets bounced. Ozio is going to try to knock it away, but Coffin is there to knock it away from him. So this is a lot of back and forth, and there's your first demo for this game. A lot of demos in this series already so far. It seems like both teams just want blood. <laughs> I mean, it's a viable strategy because when you take someone out as a temporarily a power play, it gets rid of their boost if they had boost saved up. And I remember like a very viable strategy I've seen from some teams is like they'll intentionally demo the goalie. So they'll demo the goalie before they go for the shot. So then the goal is exposed and they're able to... Uh, to land the goal because no one's there. It was a great save from a volley right there. 
You see the Highland Northerners trying to center up the play, but both Thailand and Ozio are there for the save. A little bit of a double commit, but they're fine for it. Ozio knocks it down to the field, goes just a little bit off to the side of the goal. This looks like an opportunity for Marietta, but they look like they were there in time to save it. Yeah. What a lot of teams try to do is, like, especially if the ball gets to the corner, to see if they can center it up to pass to someone else to go for the shot. So you'll see a lot of cases where they'll try to see if they can knock it towards the center. But right now, Marion is struggling to, to set up that play. We see STN knocking the ball down the field. Coffin is going to be knocking it. And that would have been a huge opportunity for Coffin, but did not connect. With the, with the shot right there. Yeah, that would... If he had connected right there, it would have gone in for sure to be a guaranteed goal. Very lucky for Marietta right there. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Sometimes you get those breaks and you've got to take advantage of them when you get them. Now we see Coffin trying to pass the ball. As you're saying, trying to center it up. But we see Ty Lanham there to knock it away. The ball just slowly creeping towards the center, but Marina not able to capitalize on it. Jay Rupp is going to dribble the ball down the field. Gets knocked in the air by Coffin, using the boost. But Ozio is going to tip it high in the air. And Jay Rupp and Tylen were there to contest. STN is trying to center it up, but no follow-up from a high goal. A minute 50 remains, no goals just yet. Very close map in, match in the series right here. Yeah, a lot of times we'll see these games kind of go back and forth. And for a game like this, I wouldn't be surprised if there's just one goal that makes the difference between winning and losing the game. Yeah, they're almost four minutes in already and still no one has scored. Yeah, I mean, that just shows some really good defense going on by both sides. Now Coffin's going to be here and this may be j Rob's opportunity to go for the shot. Tips it down, doesn't get the angle he wants and Ozio is able to block it. But now Hadlorn's going to try again, but Apollyon is there for the block. Now it's down to the Highland Northern side of the field. It's going to be centered up, but Coffin's going to knock it away. And j Rump's going to take it away from Tyler. Ozio with a great save there. One minute remains in the round. In Rocket League terms, an epic save. <laughs> Very good save from Ozio. And that's an one. epic save right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He gets demo for it, but that's okay. He's able to deny the goal from Ohio Northern. So many good saves from both both sides. It's just going to be whoever breaks in their defense first. Yeah, that's exactly what it's going to be. But we are seeing Ohio Northern try to be very aggressive in their offense. 30 seconds remain, and they are trying to demo many of the pioneers to prevent them from playing. J Rupp's gonna try to knock it down. Ozzy was looking for the block, but it gets knocked over to the corner. Polyon is there to take it away, but loses control of the ball. And Polyon gets demoed. Yeah, so we're seeing how they're the strat is to try to keep Marietta out of contention, demoing as much as possible. SCN's gonna try to go for a last second, and there's the demo we're talking about, but we are in overtime. Now it just comes to whoever scores first. Yep. And sometimes in overtime, that can happen in like two seconds. So you have to make sure that your goal is covered. Great save there by Apollyon. Not an epic save, but still a great save. <coughs> Excuse me. It's hard to tell what is an epic save and what is a great save in this, well, according to this game sometimes. I think it does have some icons that distinguishes them. And just with that, the corner shot by Coffin. It looked, Tylon, looked like Tylon went for the save, but Coffin was just there to block it and right into the net. Yeah, so with that, Ohio Northern will take the uh, the game. So we'll go ahead and transition over real quickly. Say that we're ready. Yeah. There we go. Just making sure I hit the right thing. Okay, there we go. That was a very close map it, right there. It really was. It just came down to that that little corner shot because a lot of times when you're trying to go for the, the goal there, it yeah, it's just a matter of getting the the right angle and sneaking the goal, and Ohio Northern was able to pull it off. So it is going to be match point uh, for Ohio Northern. So we'll see if Marietta 
can try to bounce back from this and take it to at least a game four, maybe even more. But we are seeing Apollyon does demo STN, so Meredith may be taking a page from Ohio Northern's playbook to try to disrupt uh, Ohio Northern and find some opportunities. And then he's trying to go for the shot, but j Rupp is there to tip it in the air, but Apollyon is there from behind, lobs it into the air, but j Rupp is there to knock it over to the side. Trying to pass it back, SDN's gonna try to bounce it off the wall and center up the play. And the goal was exposed and Marietta gets punished for it. You, you can't have that. Like, try to see, yeah, we saw a double commit over there and the goal was wide open and how Ronald was able to capitalize on it. Cannot have that in this game. A mistake like that costs goals. Yeah, especially when it's a match point for a high door that you cannot give them those kind of goals. Because they will take advantage of it every time. Uh, great save there by Apollyon, but Coffin's going to try to bounce it and pass it, but Azu is there for the save. j Rupp is going to tip it in the air, trying to set it up for Coffin. But Apollyon knocks it, gets it away from Coffin, but STN is there to set it up for j Rupp to go for this goal, but Azu is there to knock it away. Great save from Azu right there. And j Rupp's going to fall back so he can contest with Ozio, but loses it. But Coffin is there. Will boost through to take control of the ball. In an open net. Just like before. And j Rupp is going to get credit for it with Coffin getting the assist. We were just talking about that. That was a triple commit by the Pioneers. No one at the goal. And Ohio Northern is able to run the ball away from them. It looked like Tylon had gone for the corner boost. And in the process of doing that, Cost them a goal. Yeah. So um, when you're back there and you need to get boosted, you gotta have to pay attention to what's going on around you while you get it because, yeah, you're right. I think you, you thought it was maybe safe to go get the boost and then he turns around, oh, there's the ball and it's going right to the goal. So you gotta know when's the right time is to get the boost and when you gotta have to kind of wait. Ooh, this very dangerous situation for Marietta right there, but they were able to get it out in time. Looks like about 2.53 left, and Marietta's down by two. Pollyon's gonna go for, oh! And Marietta does get a goal. Technically, Ohio Northern got it, their own goal, but let's take a look at this. Pollyon does hit it, and j Rupp tries to knock it away, but actually tips it into the goal, so flipped the wrong way, but Marietta is on the board. And Marietta, just like that, is back in this map. They're only down by one, which is a lot more manageable. We'll see if they can use that momentum to, to get back into the game. Probably a great takeaway. It's and just like it could be an opportunity for Marietta here. Yeah, just a little bit to the right. If he was able to line up a little bit more, it would have gone in. Beat him to the ball and everything. Tipped it right over him, but it was just a little too far over Ozio tips it into the air. j Rub is going to knock it away, but Pauline's going to try to take it back, but j Rub's like, no, this is our ball. Coffin's going to go for the shot. Great save there by Ty Lanham. It is an open net. But j Rub is there at the last second for the save, but that is a good try. He's coming out of nowhere to get that save. Now we got less than two minutes to go. Pauline gets a great save on j Rub's shot. Jair's going to be knocking it over towards the goal, but Pauline is there with another save. STN and Pauline are going to fight for it, but STN does get the boost. That's one of the things that would be nice to see in a game like this is to know what everyone's boosting here is like. And another open goal. Oh, that was huge. A huge save there. It didn't show the credit, but that was a clutch for Marietta. It did look like Tylon got knocked out of the way, but uh, Polly was there with a clutch save. Uh-huh. And speaking of Polyon getting a demo himself, he's been all over the place. Polyon wants a win. We see that desire. Ozio there with the save once a coffin shot. And Polyon gets demoed. And STN gets demoed. Oh, everybody's getting demoed left and right. We got the one minute warning. 
Marietta needs to get one goal to get this into overtime. Ozio's gonna knock the ball away. Little bit of a dangerous position for Marietta right here. But it does look like they that they whip the shot and we're able to really connect. Yeah. SCN tries to go for the shot, but it doesn't quite connect. SCN's gonna to try to center it up for Ohio Northern. And JM's gonna go for the shot, but Polyon and Ozio there are for the for the block. Ozio gets credit for it. 30 seconds remain. Marietta still needs to get that one goal. SCN's gonna to try to off this by a little bit. J Rep's gonna go for the shot, but they're trying to do everything they can to prevent Marietta from getting the ball into Ohio Northern side. Because they know they're up by one, but Marietta has to get control of the ball now. But J Rep scores with 11 seconds left. That might be all she wrote. You never know though. You could you could get a crazy kickoff goal. That's true. They're getting two of those in a row and Marietta ties it up and they will go into overtime. The game's not over until the clock hits zero. So let's see what happens here. J-Rub is going to be able to get the hit. With five seconds left. Ozio is going to try to go for the goal, but High Lord's going to take it away. And that is going to be it. So that was what, three to one? Yeah, that was three yeah. to one. Uh, you're, that's fine. We'll, we're, we'll get this taken care of. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, with that, Ohio Northern will take the series 3-0. Uh, to zero. Um, As we were talking about before, I mean, this is still a very new Rocket League team, kind of rebuilding from, not necessarily completely from scratch, but just trying to get used to each other's play style. So I think we're going to see some of that learning process, especially early on in the spring season. Yeah, it does it does take a little bit to get used to each other as players with any game, really. So it did look like a lot of that showed here in this match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean there'll be some lessons learned, but here's the good news for you guys. We have another Rocket League match coming at your way. Now that will be at one o'clock against uh Marion Tech. So what we'll do is we'll we'll still keep the stream up because why not? Yeah, um, why not? yeah, we'll we'll keep the stream up a little bit, and this is a great time where if you want to go to HyperX and check out their stuff, you can. If you want to go to the BSN Team Shop, if you want to go get some lunch real quick, I mean it is noon here. I don't know if it's noon where you guys are watching, but this is a good time to go get a quick bite to eat, then come back at one o'clock as our Rocket League team will be uh, playing against Marion Technical College. And then after that, we're going to have Corey here with the Overwatch 2 team playing against Defiance at 2. So we still have a lot more coming at your way. So once again, shout outs to HyperX, to Over the Moon Pizza, for the B, uh, to be a sense shop. Be sure to follow us on our social media channels. And we'll be back in about a half hour or so with our next Rocket League match. So don't go away. We'll be back in about a half hour.